Hello, and welcome to another episode of China Record. Have you ever wondered why certain companies are willing to pay a premium for goods and services? Companies that understand the value of partnerships, whether it's with suppliers or customers, can gain a competitive advantage. That's what has happened in the case of China and Taiwan. Today, however, China and Taiwan are linked by growing trade and business relationships. But China mainland want to access to the world's leading chip maker, TSMC, that makes TSMC one of its most valuable assets, sourcing components from China. But how could China access Taiwan's TSMC? Let's see some history. The history of China's chip maker. China's chip making industry began in the late 1970s with the formation of the first state-owned chip maker, Anxin Semiconductor Plant. Since then, the industry has grown rapidly, and China now has dozens of chip manufacturers. The industry has been greatly aided by government investment, with China investing billions of dollars over the years. In recent years, China has made major strides in the chip-making industry, with Chinese companies such as Huawei and Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation or SMIC becoming increasingly competitive with companies from other countries, such as Ewell and Samsung. However, yeah, there is a however. China's chip-making industry is currently facing a number of challenges. The U.S. government has imposed sanctions on Chinese technology companies, making it difficult for Chinese companies to access advanced chip-making technology. Additionally, the U.S. has imposed tariffs on Chinese-made semiconductors, making it more expensive for U.S. companies to purchase them. And a global shortage of chips has caused a backlog in orders, making it difficult for Chinese companies to meet demand. Despite these challenges, Chinese chipmakers are continuing to invest in research and development and upgrade their production capabilities, which will allow them to remain competitive in the global market. But look at Taiwan's TSMC. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company TSMC is one of the most influential computer chip manufacturers in the world. It was founded by the Taiwanese government in 1987 under the direction of Morris Chang. During the early years of wafer fabrication for microchip production, TSMC supplied all of the computer component competitors on the market. It went public on the Taiwan Stock Exchange in 1994, and by 1996, it was listed on the New York Stock Exchange as the first Taiwanese company to do so. TSMC produces a variety of products, including microchips, which are used in communication devices, radios, televisions, medical equipment, and video games. Some of the company's most well-known clients include Apple, Advanced Micro Devices AMD, Broadcom, Ewell, Mediatic, NVIDIA, NXP Semiconductors, Omnivision Technology, Qualcomm, and Renesis Electronics. TSMC expects to post revenue of between $19.9 billion and $20.7 billion in the fourth quarter of 2022, with gross margin and operating margin both up from the same period in 2021. For the full year, TSMC said it expects to spend about $36 billion in 2022 on capital equipment, down from at least $40 billion previously. The company, which has seen a surge in demand for its chips, said it expects to post a record high of about $90 billion in revenue for 2022. The relationship between China and Taiwan in semiconductor China and Taiwan have a complicated relationship when it comes to semiconductors. China heavily rallies on Taiwan for advanced chips, as Taiwan makes 65% of the world's semiconductors and almost 90% of the advanced chips. China produces a little over 5% of the world's semiconductors, 
and the U.S. produce is approximately 10%. Despite this reliance, China has blocked many of Taiwan's exports in retaliation for U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan on August second. China is also pushing to boost its domestic semiconductor manufacturing capacity and has pledged $150 billion to expand the industry and be more self-reliant. In addition, having their own semiconductor industry would allow China to be more self-reliant and less reliant on international markets. It would also reduce their reliance on U.S. technology and allow them to develop their own technology for applications such as AI and 5G. Technologically backward China rallies on the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company DSMC for 70% of the chips needed to power its world-leading consumer electronics industry. China produces some semiconductors, but for high-end chips, China depends largely on supply from Taiwan. China's dependence on chips manufactured in Taiwan to build its high-tech products has limited its ability to prohibit them. Taiwan has grown Taiwan's manufacturing power and economic resiliency, whereas China has failed to develop China's semiconductor industry. Taiwan China has never stopped to advance domestic semiconductor industry, including chip design, fabrication, packaging, over the past few years. China's PLA says that as China prepares for the military lockdown surrounding Taiwan, it will take care to avoid harming semiconductor companies, Casanova said. While the semiconductor industry is already preparing for declining demand, with hot inflation suppressing spending, Taiwan faces an even more difficult situation caught between China's Taiwan China stance and the U.S its biggest international supporter and arms supplier particularly with Beijing ramping up its military pressure to make Taiwan adopt Chinese claims of sovereignty. In addition to imposing a number of trade restrictions, China has ramped up military exercises around Taiwan's island, raising concerns over risks to global access to key chips. Because of Taiwan's substantial presence in both American and Chinese technology supply chains, it has emerged as a problem in both China-United States trade wars as well as the larger geopolitical conflicts between the two powers. In recent years, Taiwan's largest chip maker, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or DSMC, has promised to open new factories in the US and Japan. How could China access Taiwan's DSMC? China could potentially access Taiwan's TSMC by attempting to acquire the company through a hostile takeover. However, this is highly unlikely to be successful due to the political implications and the Taiwanese government's commitment to keeping the company independent. Additionally, the U.S. government is unlikely to approve any attempts by China to purchase DSMC due to the potential security risks. As an alternative, China could attempt to partner with TSMC in order to gain access to its advanced semiconductor technology. However, this too could be difficult to achieve due to the U.S. government's stance on preventing China from accessing advanced technology. China needs Taiwan's biggest chip maker, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company TSMC to provide 70% of the chips needed to feed its world-leading technology industry. TSMC is the world's largest and most critical chip manufacturer, and its products are an integral part of everything from consumer products to military aircraft. Without access to these chips, China's tech industry would suffer from a major disruption. The future of China's chip industry is uncertain, with many analysts predicting that it will take China years to reach the same level of sophistication as the U.S. and other chip-making countries. However, China is making major investments in the industry and has set an ambitious goal of becoming self-sufficient in chip production by 2030. In the meantime, China will continue to rely on imports of advanced chips from other countries, particularly Taiwan, to meet the needs of its tech industry. That's all for today's video. 
If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you at the next one. Until then, stay tuned and good luck.